Hello, I'm Mark and today I'm going to show you how to create your own emoji set using Affinity Designer. I post two tutorials like this per week, so please subscribe to my YouTube channel for more content. Alright, here we are in new blank document. Let's add a new artboard. So select artboard tool and click insert artboard. Now for this first artboard, I'm going to change the size. So we can type new size over here, 256 times 256. This will be size for one icon. So one artboard is tiny, where we will design icons and next one will be the one where we move ready to use icons. All right, so that's the plan. Let's use this first artboard. I'm going to draw a circle here. We can modify the visuals, stroke and main color. All right. I think it's a little bit too small, so let's stretch this shape. All right. Reposition in the center of this first artboard. This is our working bench here. We can add additional guiding lines like this. And now we are ready to apply some layer style to it. So let's select layer effects. And from here we can click 3D and try to create some kind of 3D effect on this circle. Keep in mind, this is just my creative decision. I want to have some kind of 3D look for my emojis. You can make them flat. You can use different shape as the base. It's totally up to you. All right, so I will play around with different layer effects i will modify slider values as well so i can get exactly what i need for my base this will be the base shape i'm going to reuse it among all of my emojis later on i just changing the light color to something a little bit warmer normally it's totally white in my case it's a little bit yellow all right we can do some changes with sliders and of course, we can apply additional effects. We don't need to limit ourselves to just one. Let's reduce opacity for this one. I think the shadow is a little bit too strong. So reduce opacity will help with that. And then I can add additional styles. So I can just click on the checkbox in front and the additional style is apply now. Again, we can move sliders to adjust the visuals of each added style we can even change the blending mode I'm changing this to overlay and of course we can move the slider to reduce opacity take your time here because we're going to establish this universal shape and reuse it with all of our icons all right so it's better to do it once correctly than modifying all icons later on at the end of the project all right i'm good i like this base shape so i'm going to make a duplicate of it and i will keep one copy outside the workspace i can right click on it and select duplicate now i can pull it out so i got this one safe copy outside the workspace i can always make duplicate out of it later all right, it's time to add facial expression for this shape. I'm using shape tool again, and I will also apply some layer effects to this dark shape. So a little bit of outer glow, and then a little bit of inner shadow. Nothing too fancy. I will keep opacity quite low, around 50% as well. I don't want this to be too strong. All right, I got first eye. Now I can use move tool and hold command key to make a duplicate while moving object. Perfect. Reposition to the center of this small artboard. Then we can also set up additional guideline here for later. And now I'm going to use pen tool to draw a facial expression. Pen tool allow you to create a custom curvy line so you can kind of customize this for your needs you can also change this line later on so even though this line is not perfect i can use not to to modify that first let's give it a color 
like this. We can change the size of this stroke. And finally, we can use Node tool to modify how curvy this line is. All right, the move tool will modify the whole line like this. But keep in mind, this is still line, not a shape. So we need to convert this stroke into normal shape. Let's extend this stroke and here it is. Now we turn this line into shape so we can copy shape style. So I come and see. And now I will click here and I will paste this style to this layer. This way I don't need to add a style from the layer effects panel to it. I just copy the style from my eyes. And the first emoji is done. I can move it to the bigger artboard and group using shortcut command G. And our little artboard is free now. So I can make a copy of this one again and start exactly same process just with different facial expression for the new emoji. All right, reposition in the center, use shape tool to create eyes. We don't need stroke for this one. We just need to draw eyes using circle like this. All right, then we can paste the style. I already copied the style, so just paste it and make a duplicate over here. We are done. We got this guiding line we create earlier to help us position eyes. And then second shape for mouth here so we can create full expression eyes and mouth and we got smart controls the little orange circle allow us to control this shape nicely paste the style make it even larger move to the center and as finishing touch maybe around corners over here nice all right this way we create a second emoji very very quickly maybe one more little detail here i'm going to use oval and now operations to cut it out like this and let's modify the color of this oval something brighter maybe even red i'm using sliders at the top right corner to modify the color of this added shape here you can also use color wheel if you prefer that method. All right, and it seems like our second emoji is ready to move to the bigger artboard. Let's just modify this little curve here a little bit. And we are done with the second emoji. So I will select everything from this little artboard. Now I will need to group that and move to the bigger artboard. This way we got a free space on the small artboard to create our next emoji. And the process will be exactly the same. So copy this base shape and then add facial expression. All right, guys, I will create four more emojis to have six in total. I'm going to speed up this video for a moment and then I will show you how to export your own emojis and also how to keep them in your asset panel in Affinity Designer. All right, all six icons are ready. So let's just reposition them, set everything nicely for export. You can use alignment section at the top if you wanna change position or align them together or you can also set up the same distance between objects, that's very handy. 
so if you select multiple objects you can align them and you can also just drag them around using move tool and then the smart guides the snapping guides will help you out with that as well all right so we got our six icons each one is a separate group i grouped them already as you may remember and now we are ready for export and this way you will export them all together as one image let's say you can export just the selected things so without any background so you got transparency here as png but we can also export them separately for this you need to move to export panel export persona now select them all and let's generate slices from layers so go to here and click create slices this way now each icon got its own like a little artboard you can say this way we can save them as separate files so we can select them all you can change the file format it can be png or svg whatever you need at that moment and then click here at the bottom part to save them separately this way you can save each icon separately very handy and very fast way of doing that one more thing we can do we can open studio assets over here we can create our own category here blank new category we can rename that as well so you we can put any name you need and we can add our new assets our new icons inside select them all click here add here and this way you have your own emojis in the asset panel you can always reopen asset panel and simply drag and drop them wherever you need to use them. That's also a very good way of keeping assets directly inside Affinity Designer, especially if you use iPad version. So it can be hard to move assets from folders, from different storage places and cloud storage to your apps on iPad. And this asset panel is so handy when using iPad version of Affinity Designer. All right, so it's how you can create and export your own set of icons using Affinity Designer. Follow my YouTube channel for more graphic design tutorials and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.